Oh. No, we're not going to Wendy's, Wendigo. Wendy's, go! Frosty! Okay, we'll go get some. Do you want chocolate? Yes, please. Hello, fellow collectors. Today, we'll be taking a look at Wendigo from the Hulk Marvel Legends line or the Marvel Select lines, whichever one you prefer. And as you can see here, the Wendigo comes from the Incredible Hulk, Volume 2, Number 162, all the way back in 1973. This figure is quite impressive to sit on your shelf. If you definitely like the Hulk, or you like Wolverine, or even Alpha Flight, then you are familiar with this character. So, let's break it down for it. As we get in close, we can see he has this big, long set of hair. He has this grimace on his face, which cannot move. He has fur all over his body and detailed. And if you look, he elbows do swivel. And we'll take a look at his legs. And they're not too bad. He does come with a tail. And this figure is rather large. He can look left and right. Not backwards, but can look downwards. His arms are on a ratchet, so I do have to apply some force to get them back out. Alright, and with a little bit of effort here, sure not to break the figure, I can get him in a T-pose. And you'll look, he does have rotation at his shoulder and elbows. His wrists do also go around 360. And he does have the ability to go in and out with his wrists. He has an ab crunch. And his legs do have an upper swivel at the thigh. He can do partway split. And he has a double bend at the knee. His ankles can rotate all the way around. And they can go up and down slightly. As we take a look at the back, he does have a removable tail. You can move it up and down. But you probably want to keep it down to keep the balance of the figure. This guy is heavy. He weighs a whopping 12 ounces. And if we get a look at his height, this figure comes right in at 9 inches. Or I'm sorry, 8 inches. And if we do a comparison, we can see we have the Batman. And the Batman is just a tad shorter than the Wendigo. And if we bring in G.I. Joe Classified Series Grunt. We can see he would fit in great with the Marvel Legends line. Let's get those guys out. And we'll bring in Star Wars The Black Series Cad Bane. And as you can see, Cad Bane only comes up to the chin of the Wendigo. Alright, we'll get him out of there. And so, as we look at this figure, he definitely is a great figure still. Um... One of the older figures, but uh, was made very good. Has a high level of detail, decent posability. Um, if you get a chance and you find this guy, definitely pick him up. He, you will not regret it. Um, as always, guys, hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. And remember, keep collecting.